So on May 10th, when I woke up, um, I was unable to get out of bed. I couldn't walk, I couldn't sit up, so I called my mom at work, and she rushed home and tried to help me, and she took me to the chiropractor at first to try and you know adjust my back and try and see why I was unable to walk. Um, once I got to the hospital, they get, did MRI on my back, and they gave me a shot in my back to you know, numb the pain. I had to sit in the waiting room for like four hours um, and wait for those results to come back. And throughout that time, my leg was completely numb and I kept like losing feeling in my leg, like my leg kept falling asleep. And I didn't understand why, and the doctors didn't either. And so while we were sitting there just waiting and waiting, I was like, mom, like look at my leg, like my legs kind of turning different colors because I had shorts on. She's like, yeah, you know, it's kind of swollen too. We should, you know, we need, to, we need to get this looked at. So once the results came back from the MRI that there was nothing going on, my parents requested more tests to be done. And I had an ultrasound on my leg they said it would take about 15, 20 minutes in the room, but I was in the room for over an hour. So I knew something was obviously wrong. But then they ended up finding a blood clot in my leg and in my stomach, and they needed to admit me for surgery the next morning. So I was hospitalized for about two weeks, and I had three surgeries, and all the coaches came and saw me, and teammates were FaceTiming because they were home during the time. And throughout that process, you know, I had my family there to support me, and I had people there that you know, were looking out for me. And through all this, I didn't know if I was ever gonna be able to play basketball again because of the life-threatening health issue I had. Um, and through all of this, I thought that, you know, me playing in March was like the last time me playing at first until I was able to get back on my feet. And through all the doctors and trainers and coaches and everybody that worked with me throughout the summer and in May to get me back to where I am today, I'm just very grateful. and blessed to be able to play this season, my final senior season, and be able to play for a reason and realize that basketball in my life could be taken away within the blink of an eye. And that's what makes me made for this.